Hello, 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 and welcome to Chakra Bros episode 10. Uh, episode 9 was a, uh, a streamed one, yep. uh, streaming only, so if you tuned in, that's awesome. Uh, I don't think we'll be uploading that, it's a lot of work, and we're going to just try to keep moving forward yep. with these. It's kind of a you know, present to those loyal who want to you know, experience yeah. it themselves live. Right. We'll do so, more in the future like that. Right, so if you saw that one, you guys get to hear a lot about what we're talking about, what we're going to play, and yep. all that, so it was, it's actually pretty cool for me to go back and listen to it and hear like, what we thought oh, about. Oh, did you listen to it? I got that. I did, so I got to listen to How like, accurate well, was it? Uh, all the cards that we thought were going to be good were pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so it, it was pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, well, let's just get started. All right, so this week we're going to talk primarily about upcoming events, uh, a combination of locals and uh, the most exciting news, I think, this week so far is the Nationals prep and the road to Nationals. Yeah, so for those of you guys that don't know, um, they will have... Tons of the like, crystal cups, right? Yeah, crystal cups. Yeah, so you have crystal cups. For example, I know there's one back in Kansas where we just got back from. Yep. There'll be two Same at in, there'll be two at Indianapolis. Yep. And so Con. for those that are going to Gen Con, uh, I think we'll uh, yeah, Zach and I already have tickets. We'll be going. And then there's also the last chance qualifier, right? I didn't fully understand that. We can go through that. Okay, so the last the, the last chance qualifier will be um, the day before nationals. So if you if you're if right. you're brave enough to fly yourself out to LA, that's what I was thinking. Like, you, can, is that, you can fly yourself out to LA. Right. You can play against California, right. who are <laughs> some of the best. Some of the best. The Not only that, but you're playing against everyone else who is brave enough to fly themselves out. Yeah. But my understanding is, I, I believe that it's like top eight that event goes. Really? So you just need yeah. to top eight that event. So yeah, because I was wondering if you fly out, <laughs> you don't make it. You can't even go to this. So. That's a huge gamble for anybody who. Yeah. Yeah. That's because, crazy. Right. <laughs> the Nats, Nats is inside the square. You know, right. Yeah. There. I think last year they didn't allow any guests in. Nobody except for like if you had a Nats like ticket. Like, right. Well, with the last year of qualifier, they might change that too because possibly. there will be a lot of people there. Um, and also that it, front pace is a lot bigger than it was last year. Yeah. So. Because they turn it into like a con, like over the years, like where all people can go, but then there's like a designated area where nationals is being. It'd be really cool if it was a Final Fantasy con. That's true too. Yeah, <laughs> not just for the TCG. Yeah, that would be really cool. Uh, what other events do we have coming up? All right, so locally we have the Cool Stuff Store Championship. That's okay. this Saturday. Uh, anybody in Tampa who's watching this, because uh, we're putting up tonight, right? Yep. If you watch it and you forgot, there's your reminder. Yep. Uh, we have the Bearded Collectibles 1K yep. the following weekend uh, over in Orlando. Uh, that's actually the first shop where I started playing. Okay. So yeah. that would be kind of cool to go back there. I yeah. And I know I know that uh, some people from Jacksonville are coming down there. Maybe your Orlando crowd is coming. Uh, a couple people from Cerny over in St. Peter going. Oh wow. Okay. So it's a it's a relatively like medium to small size shop, so it'd be it'll be interesting, it'd be interesting to, see. to see how they fit it. We're gonna yeah. have to like, put up picnic tables up front or something. Yeah, but it will be cool. I know the guys that work there are like pretty good guys, so yeah. uh, I'm excited for that for sure. Any idea what you're gonna be running? Uh I'll have to see how the sword championship goes. Yeah. I think I'm gonna play something I haven't played much of. Okay. But uh, I know sword championship. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking about possibly Ben's list, the amount of lightning that I lost to. Not because I lost it, because it's sweet. It's funny because I did message I did message Ben today yeah. and ask him any updates to the list. So I'm thinking about playing you at our store championship. Yeah, that's what I <laughs> but yeah. and then depending on that, it'll kinda of set my mood for if I want to stick with the controlly deck, if I want to play just a very good mid range kind of yeah. Delver style deck, I guess. Okay. What are the um, events? We I know we have Ohio the following week, right? Well Ohio is should definitely be the following week. Is the following week? Yep, which is uh the the Ramos series. Oh, you're, no, not Ohio, uh, North Carolina. Oh, oh no, North, North Carolina, 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 Figure out car situations, car test situations. Yeah, I actually called um, some family yesterday. I'm like, do we know anybody in the area? Like, see if we can get away from the hotel fees, but yeah, um, that would have swayed one of the other. I just can't make it this time. Yep. Uh, so that's exciting, though. Um, I want to see the playing that. Yeah. But I don't know they haven't released yet, right? No, I mean we saw like kind of the Rama image, but we haven't actually seen what the map looks like. So. Right. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Uh, so now for a past event, the Petit Cup, where we both play stop eight. Yeah. Uh, I made top four, but I actually lost to the person you eventually beat yeah. to win the whole thing. Ben, yeah. So, uh, 
been I'm apparent. I'm sure yeah. everyone's heard, you know, watching, reading all the threads and all that, but yeah. you want to talk about that experience for you? Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we trained, we practiced, we tested a lot for the Petite Cup. Yeah. Um, I tested a lot of Fasoya decks. <laughs> a lot of Fasoya decks. I, I mean, I tested modern water Fasoya, I tested earth, earth uh, water, I tested wind water. Lightning water. Lightning water. I didn't trust fire water, but you tested that previously. I looked into it. And just yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I did feel like the Fasoya deck was probably like the most powerful thing that you could do. Right. Uh, but it wasn't consistent. Yeah. And then I, uh, I played my octagon match um, against Jamie. We we're still playing for top sixteen at that point, and then I got crushed. <laughs> and I just thought like, okay, this just isn't consistent enough. What was he playing? Uh, he was playing. He changed steps every week, so that that week he's playing mono ice. Okay. Oh, that would have been very bad for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot of ice. Yeah, so maybe that's a little bit of bias, some right. uh, causation correlation stuff. But yeah, basically it convinced me that the deck just wasn't consistent enough right. and needed to be able to beat mono ice. So I think um, we were, Fusoya was at least being bounced around up until the night before we left, right? Yeah. Where we were like trying to build a deck like, yeah. with it because we know it's powerful, it's a, excuse me, a very controlling way to play. You can yeah. usually dominate people just on outplays. Right. But yeah, it's really hard to do that right now. Yeah, so we actually like went through and recorded a whole video on like, hey, this is how we're going to build a Fasoya deck. We started with 100 cards. Yeah, we started with 100 cards, we cut it back. And ironically, that was the thing that convinced me that I'm just going to play Water Earth because yep. I just, as I was going through the cards, I was like, this, these cards are so good, like, how can I not play these cards? We got to a point where there was a crutch, and the crutch was Fusoya. Yeah. Because we were trying to build, build around the Ephemeral card. Summoner and like all those packages, and yeah. once we took those packages out and just played good cards, we ended up very close to your monster success as far as you know what? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I still think Fusoya is probably oh, like one of the strongest cards in a game. I think people really sleep on it. Uh, but it does require your deck to be built around it. It does require like an understanding of the metagame. Yeah. And, uh, so I think maybe that's why it works in locals, right? Because yeah, we know exactly I, right. what we're expecting. I know exactly the metagame locally, uh, so. whereas like nationally I don't know the metagame. And then also, the, the game's really wide open right now, which is really, I mean, yeah, you're going to play against your Mono Water, you know that, and you're going to play against your Lightning decks. Yeah. Um, other than that, like, I didn't expect Mono Ice to do so well. Mono I didn't, I didn't expect the Tropical decks to do as well as it did. Mm -hmm. um, that we and, and that's the thing, we did test the, the lightning chocolate deck, yep. the lightning one chocolate, and we were it, we were pretty sold on it being our fallback the whole time. I had it built on the side where I could yep. just shuffle it up and we're good to go. So but. then I played it in the top uh in, in the warm up event for the teacup. They had a, a pretty like a five round tournament beforehand. Yeah, it was great actually. Yeah. I five with the Swiss and then two of the guy in the top eight and then we split top four. Yep. So I 7 0 with the deck, and then as soon as I was done, I was like, yeah, I'm not playing this. <laughs> it's just not good enough. But it is close. It is right. really close. I mean, I top, I top four that as well with Strong Sword. So. Yeah, I mean, that, deck, that deck is probably <laughs> good enough for when people like don't expect it, right? right. Uh, I want to play a deck where I can play, you know, exactly where I get into my, my best of threes, and I lose yeah. my game one like I did against Gwen, and I also lost my game one. Like against the amount of lightning, and, and I wasn't that worried when I lost the game once. I knew that I could adapt to those changes. It's funny how that works too, because like the magic of that happens. You have a sideboard, and that's normally yeah. what swings in your favor. This yeah. is literally just game knowledge and knowing how to mulligan differently. Right. If you're just a different draw. Right, but you can learn so much over the awesome. course of a game. I learned an, like an incredible amount just in that game one against Ben, yep. in which I completely changed. Right, I completely changed my my plan for game two and game three. Yep. Uh, so. And I'm actually going to write about that, which is another thing we should bring up is that the FF Dex is now going to be uh, hosting content. Yep. So for the content creators uh, that we want, officially wanted, announced. Well, <laughs> okay. Sorry, Jordan. Uh, anyway, I'm going to I'm going to put up an article about this somewhere on some website, which I won't tell you guys where. Uh, so it, anyway, point being that so we did, we test a lot for this. Uh, Angel tests a lot for this. At the last minute, he didn't want to play the team deck. He wanted to stick to the, the lightning wind well, deck. And to be fair, he didn't practice it much, right? Or did he play it when you guys were in your testing? I've never he, seen him he played play quite a, bit a in testing. based deck. Well, he also played against it quite a bit in testing. True, which so, I think is enough to know kind of how to... I, I agree, yeah. It takes maybe three I, games to like get the rust off. But. I had played like maybe 60 games against him with him on lightning wind. Mm -hmm. And then that was enough to propel me through the Swiss of that of that pre-tournament. Because it was just like, right. wow, I, I understand the mechanics of the deck and, right. and the interactions. And it was really good. Um, so I wish Angel had played our list. I think he would have done better. Um, I, I think I think in these bigger events that you should just absolutely play like 
the strongest the best deck, deck. Yeah. Whatever yeah. The best deck you have available. And right. Based on your testing. Yeah. Right. And I think that also there's there's some merit to playing the team deck. Yeah. Um, because there's a reason that I'm on the deck. There's a reason that you're on the deck. We wouldn't put ourselves in it at a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to play the absolute best deck. I was very close to Lightning Wind, though. Yes. I think I was just playing. I was I very close to Lightning Wind. I was very close to Lightning Wind, which surprises you. nobody more than myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I am not an aggressive player. I like to play control decks. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the, the, the Kansas City area was probably, like, first off, when you land, everything looks dead and terrible. It's gross. <laughs> right? When you get into the city, it's one of the most beautiful cities I've ever yeah. been to. And the people there were awesome. It was super mm-hmm. cool, like, interacting with the people in Kansas City. Um, yeah, I mean, that was, it was a great weekend. Yeah, I, I want to say that I had, like, one poor sport. You were there for that. Um, yeah, yeah. We're... Everybody else was, like, super cool. It was amazing. Uh, like, super shout out to Devin in my, <laughs> in my top eight. Um, you know, he had, his, he had the, the back against back, the back against him. We knew his exact... 50 cards, yeah. and we grinded games all night preparing yeah. for that matchup. <laughs> the only reason I was able to win is I had my teammates just grinding games with me, like trying yeah. to figure out how do you win this, what are the best cards. Then super shout out to Ben, who was a really great sport, uh, very competitive mm-hmm. man. Like I, yeah. like he to me, Ben is the Alfred of Kansas. I don't want to play against Ben anymore. Yeah, right. Like you know, I don't want to go. To, you know, I don't want to go there and play against Ben. Um, I, I, I don't want to, because Ben's just not going to make the mistakes. I, I was you talking know? to Jake last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wanted some help with a Soya deck, which I think we built it for him. Um, he said that Ben came in, like the next, like whatever the locals was, I think it was Tuesday yeah. night, with the last four or five turns of your game exactly mapped out with based on the cards in his hand, what he drew, what you played, and what you, from the camera angle, right? Yeah. And said, these exact steps like could have done this. He had every turn broken down to like CP, dulling what and what yep. he could discard and how he could have attacked to, to try, try to win that game. Yeah, that is insane. Yeah, <laughs> and that's because Ben's an engineer. Yeah, so the analytical skills uh, are. Yeah, I mean, within an hour after the event ended, Ben came up to me with a notepad. It's like, hey, look, these are the things. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, you know, and, and I just I'm not the type of person that does that um, because I'm too lazy. Like. I, can I, I couldn't imagine I'd be such a stronger player if I had that mentality that Ben right. has. Uh, and I need to. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, you know. Well, you were taking notes for a little while, though. I was, yeah. I was just, but I was too, I'm, I'm too lazy to go that in, in depth. Yeah. Um, that, that was just insane. But I, I do feel like his deck is, like, I would say innovative, mm-hmm. but it's, just, it's a very solid lightning deck. It was, it's not a fun deck to play against. It was interesting because a lot of people have, like, he had the Azul package, right? Yeah, which is, um, which is sweet. Other people had, like... There were before, right? The, the, the very beginning of the format. Yes. Yep. The very beginning of the format, we're on the Azul package. Like, some other people, I beat Mono Lightning three times day one. Yep. And I lost to it in the semifinals. The difference was, these other people had an Earth Splash, which is sweet. We've actually, well, you, you and Angel tested that for a while. Oh, so yeah. That was awesome. With Shantoto, Delita, Kaiga, yeah. that kind of stuff. Uh, there was a guy who had like a Sephiroth to deal with Minwu. Ben just had good cards. Yeah. He was just Two playing first. like basically the best of every card. Yeah, Emperor to shore up those like matchups where you just want like yeah. uh, taxing piece. But like, there's something to be said for just playing the best cards in a color and just sleeping it up. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. Uh, which is kind of what kind of draws me to it. Yes. Yeah. Very it, and he, he, he has, has one goal, which is kill you. Yeah, he has some like off choices like Ramza. Um, but granted, those choices were there for the meta game. Yeah. Uh, Rams is very good at, at pumping guys and giving them first strike mm-hmm. and dealing with the amount of hasty chocolate moves that they had at the event. Yeah. It's, it's Ben's way of stopping himself from getting run over. Right. Yeah. The first strike is crazy on defense, so they can't do it to your guy. Yeah. Shout out also to Richard Brady, who, who helped run a, oh, yeah. a, an awesome event. Uh, Collector's Cash, who hosted it. Um, Ben's part of that team. Um, there's a lot of really cool people. Like, like. Obviously, Jake Lee goes goes without saying. Jake right. Lee is the coolest guy in Kansas yeah. for multiple reasons. Right. Um, so shout out to Jake Lee. Yeah. Uh, but Super yeah, appreciate it, man. The the Fatigue Cup was awesome. It, it, people want to say like, oh, it's, it's a community gathering event. It was a very competitive event. Well, because that's all we get, right? We get yeah. these events where you meet that's up. That's all we play. got. Now we get. Now we're getting competitive. That's true. Event. It's all we've had. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so anytime someone has any sort of event, they want to bring their A game because they might not get enough time to show that for another couple months. Right. So it's definitely more competitive than I think they want it to be, but 
It's great. Yeah, I, okay with it. I agree. Um, yeah, I, I'm not complaining about the new the new series of events, but mm -hmm. but but yeah, that's all that's all we had. So we took it seriously. Right. Uh, it, we we flew ourselves out to Kansas. Uh, like, I I want to say that that I I. I don't, I did I, I felt bad like you know taking the trophy from yeah. there but you know I I did I put in the work I felt like yeah you earned it yeah and then you, you also like top four mm -hmm. that's two top eights and two teacups in a row with two very different decks <laughs> with two very different decks and the the Tampa Cup was not easy no right no it was not there's easy. a lot of grinders in that event and that was uh, forty nine people an extra round or were they the same amount of rounds same amount of rounds same amount of rounds yeah. Which is, you know, like congrats to you for, for, for making two two top eights in a row. Like that's man, that's that's all it's exciting for sure. Yeah, I don't I think people up. I don't think that people understand like how much variance can be in the game. And so if if you're go if you make two top eights, it shows a lot for like not only the card went for well well for you, but you also like, played really well. Yeah. Um, and then like the, the prizes were like insane. So if you guys aren't if you guys are worried about like not Breaking even from well, I mean, yeah, I, I top four and I traded. If I didn't trade the stuff, yeah. but I did for I probably traded for at least over two hundred dollars in the cards. Just yeah, my prize top four. Right. Yeah. I, I with with my extra, I didn't want to bring. I more. didn't, uh, you know, get this little foil collection here. Signed foil collection. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't trade that, yeah. but no. yeah, like I didn't want to, I didn't want to carry the warrior of light home with me because it's on the plane, so I traded right. that. Um, yeah, I traded like, my plushie because that was going to be bulky on the trip. Yeah. I traded my play mat and all that because I really is, wanted it. This is actually uh, Andy Carmona's yeah, right? <laughs> uh, plushie from winning who he gave Serena. It's a uh, pay it forward plushie. I paid it forward and gave my plushie to Jake Lee. Yep. Um, so Jake Lee, when you crush the next petite cup, you have please, to give to somebody. Please pay it forward. Appreciate. Yeah, the lightning, the lightning plushies are, are being paid forward, yeah. which is uh, <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have besides the petite cup? Um, actually, one last thing about the teacup. Oh. Changes you would have, or you would like to make from, from your deck list now. And just briefly, not anything super sure. Short, but. Yeah, um, I think that the, the ashes are bad. Um, I think that the limits are bad and that the knights are bad. And that's not to say that those cards are bad. All those cards are obviously very, very good. Uh, but they're not the game plan right. that the monster deck is trying to do. The they ashes were, were only there because of the meta, though, right? Because we saw the yeah, ashes were only there because of the meta, yeah. yeah so we already need these. The Lena is just a solid card, yeah. and uh, reanimating Cognazzo with and only two Lenas. Yeah, I only had two Lenas and I reanimated Cognazzo several times throughout the tournament. I reanimated a Kefka, I reanimated a Gal, I reanimated. Yep. I reanimated a Real, and it was, it was the right play, but it felt weird. <laughs> it felt weird. But, um, um, so there's there, there's a lot of play with the Lena. Right. However, the changes I want to make are more towards a Dark Kefka, uh, because I really want Magic Pot. I want to live the dream of like Dark Kefka and the Magic Pot, Magic Pot and the Kefka into Big Kefka. Yeah. Uh, the Magic Pot in the deck is also good with Cognazzo. It's, it's yeah. just a solid card. It's just another way to do it. Yeah, it's just it's another way for, for Emperor to beat you. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I had plenty of answers. Uh, I had Mask Woman, I wouldn't change that. I would maybe up Mask Woman oh, too, if, if I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, anybody who hasn't seen that. Yeah. Then turn two, right? Turn two, Emperor, slam, get a haste, hit you in the face. Or turn three or something, you, yeah. know, you just went Mask Woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. which which was, it, and that's the thing, that, like that was moves. the plan. Yeah. Like that's the, the, the card was in the deck for a reason, and yeah. we kept it in our hand for a reason. There are other cards that we could, there are arguments where I could have discarded out a little bit for the prior play, yeah. um, but I needed the Mask Woman, and it was there for the Emperor because I knew. Ben had a solid understanding of the matchup, yep. and he needed to get in some damage before I set up. Right. And so I knew that the Mask Woman was going to be key in getting rid of the Emperor for sure. Sweet. Um, yeah. So that was that was the plan. Uh, all right. So yeah. I don't think I would change anything else really. Okay. There, there's probably like one or two cards that are like hit or miss. Like, like I said, I don't like the Knights. I definitely want to try out some yeah. Mirrors. Um, I think Mirrors is really strong when you have cards like Tom Berries, but. Yeah, especially because it's not, it's unique, so you can't have two. So right. you end up pitching some, or you like mulligan to right. the beginning. Have no but doubt that Tom Berries is, is in the top three for cards that are strongest oh. in that deck. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, no doubt that Cognoso is the strongest. There's a reason we named the deck after the Tom Berries. Tom Berries, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, alright, so let's go a little more into the Nats then, the road to Nats. I sure. 
Uh, so we have the Crystal Cups, which are basically the equivalent of regionals, yep. right? For other ones, you have the schedule, yep. right? The, uh... Yeah, so we have the Crystal Cups, which are basically the regionals. Uh, ironic because we don't have any Crystal Cups in our region. Right. Uh, <laughs> but there are other ways to qualify. There's 50 stores, yeah. um, and they'll fit the 50 stores. So I, I understand there will be quite a few of those in Florida that will be getting them. Probably bearded, maybe. Uh, I'm thinking bearded cool stuff. cool stuff and probably the Jacksonville Jackson. cool stuff would be my guess. Yeah. Um, so it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crystal cups. Yeah. Two of them are in Indianapolis uh, for the uh, Gen Con. Gen Con, yeah. So if you don't have those tickets, book those. So our rumors are now confirmed, right? Because Indianapolis, same weekend as Gen Con. Pretty sure we did. We did. We did hint at it. We talked about it, and we did also hint at like, hey, first week of Boston, first week of April, go and get your tickets for Boston. Yep. Boston, April sixth through seventh. There's a qualifier there. Sometime uh, in May, there'll be one in Toronto. Yep. June. Okay, so June is uh, back in Lenexa, Kansas, which is the collector's cash. Mm -hmm. uh, Kansas City, Lenexa. I don't know where the order that is. I yeah. recommend anybody who's even on the fence about going, snap it off. Because that the venue's great, the people are great, the sales yeah. great. So, totally recommend. so also I something I just read that didn't I didn't catch beforehand, uh, is that the world championship this year will be in London. Yep, I saw that. Yeah. Uh it's super sweet to meet all the it London is super guys. it is super sweet, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I will be sad that if I did make it I wouldn't have to go back to Japan and get Japan. I love <laughs> Japan. But I've never been to London. Right, so I've never been, nope. yeah, it'd be really cool to like meet some of the London guys and just visit London. I mean, right. I know that like when I travel for Magic, like if I go to like Costa Rica or if I went to, like when I went to Japan for Magic, like a lot of times like it's really cool to play these events, but I'm really going for experience yeah. to sightsee, right? Like like it'd be cool to play in the London World Championship, mm -hmm. uh, but like I'm going to spend some time exploring London. I found it interesting, like all the off beat or like off the path jobs, like musicians, mm -hmm. artists. Uh, and, Card players, like we get to travel the most. So yeah. if, like if you're a carpenter, you're probably not going to. Yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah, right. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Well, yeah, because yeah, that's part of the draw to it is the travel. Yeah. Like being able to go to Kansas, I'd never go to Kansas City ever. Probably. Yeah. But, now I will say that while we're bragging about like the amount of chances we have, which is really cool, I think like the Europe situation, I think that. The Europeans aren't necessarily happy about their situation, it seems, right now. Yeah, I didn't see the details. I didn't read their article. Yeah. Um, something about one person per country or something. Right, yeah. Which, I mean, there's, if you there's think about There are a lot of countries, countries yeah. Right. There are a lot of countries. And you don't necessarily have to play for your country. It's no different yeah. than, like, going to Kansas and winning the teacup there. Like, yeah. You would go to the other places, but, I mean, that's a lot of travel. Um, I mean, I, I don't really know how it works. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I read the, their whole system. Yeah. I did look at it. It did seem really cool because like, they have, like, a big, huge cup. It's like... More than I don't know. Yeah, it seemed pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it, it seems like their system isn't isn't something that they're enjoying right now. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, isn't what we asked for. We just wanted to be on even footing. We didn't want to like pass anybody. <laughs> oh, for North America? America? Yeah. Oh yeah. So North America, we we're like, oh, we don't get regions because of this. It's like we didn't want to, you know, take it from anybody. But... I, I think what's important here is to understand that we are moving forward. Right. Exactly. Uh, and not just North America, but the 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 center for Europe seems to be moving forward too. Mm -hmm. So Square Enix is showing us that they really care about us, they care about the game, they believe in the game, um, and, and, and we're trying to move forward. So I think it's what we needed, it's like a community, because for a long time yeah. it was, you know, we have faith, we see stuff that's going to happen, this is going to happen, we're going to tell you about this, and we finally have concrete, this is what's happening. Yeah. I do wonder, um, I, I want to know like what the ramifications of these competitive events are. For the smaller series, for like the the Meta Potion Circuit and the the um, Six Stages Gaming Circuits, uh, yeah. actually series. funny thing uh, in Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the local tournaments up there were going to be called Crystal Cups, and then with the element after, so the first one was Crystal Cup Earth. Okay. And they were, I was talking to them earlier, like, man, we're going to change the name now. <laughs> yeah. Well, <at laughs> all least the advertising they did. Hopefully, they do a lot of graphics design work for it yet. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I do wonder what the ramifications of that are going to be. Um, the ramifications. <laughs> so I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was an actual accidental pun. That was really great. Um, so, but but I'm excited. Like I'm right. I'm super stoked that uh, 
just uh, we've seen Square Enix show us that they care about us, that they're going to move forward, and, mm-hmm. and sending people in the community, like sending Richard Brady to these events, like showing us, hey, we're here, and he's out there gunslinging. We get to see Rafia in action. And yeah, it's been Playing really cool. Playing live cards at locals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he actually did play the tournament. He did play the Opus five cards. It's funny. It's halfway through the tournament, I saw him at the bottom table. I'm like. How, why is he losing? And then everyone's like, no, he's beating people. He's just not taking the win because he's playing Opus 5 cards. And we're like, yeah, oh! So he, was, he, was winning, he was winning and then yeah, conceding at the end, which yeah. props to him. But yeah, Rafia seemed really good in action. Uh, are there any other spoilers that you're super excited about? I know that the lightning card is ridiculous, right? The uh, Ilwa? Yeah. yeah. She's sweet. For um, those that don't see her, she's she gives her special that she gives all of your forward taste, yeah. including himself, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah and she's on and, they, and she negative two is there too. Ah, oh, I didn't even remember that part. Is that real? That's insane. I'm 99% sure it okay. says something about their power. Alright, and then what about that new mo- what about the new water monster? How, what are your thoughts? Yeah, um, I, it's somewhere between very good and broken, and okay. I don't know where. Okay. Um, because it's, in, it's in, searchable by at least three different characters we know now. Yeah, right. Ormaro, so you have, which, you yeah. have you have Realm, you have Romaro. Well, yeah. overall, I mean, Kef- searchable through the whole deck. Oh, yeah, but you also have Kefka, Kefka and then you have Steiner. Steiner. Right. Um, and then, if you add in that, you also have more searchers, because you also have uh, Mog that goes to get Steiner, that goes to get... Well, I go. I, or I, I, I go, go which goes to Steiner, which yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's... In- Stallion Sid, which finds Amaro, which finds... Um, right, and I think that's actually underrated for when people think about searchers. Right. Like, if you want to activate that thing special, it's very, very easy, it feels like. Um, and then it's special is that it negative two Ks per CP their guy, right? So if it's a five CP forward, it loses ten thousand, which is insane. If it's a four CP, so anything on curve, dies. anything on curve dies, yeah. right? And it doesn't even besides break. two drops, uh, and, and three drops, and three right. drops, because three drops could also be seven K, so it would lose six K. But that's not to mention that you have cards that are actually busted, like Ton Berries and Cognazzo. Coming down after that because the special is only if I, I think it's blue blue one. Uh, it's actually blue blue no yeah blue blue two blue blue two okay yeah. so it's very but it's still it's reasonable to activate your ton berries or to cognizer yeah it's just two cards from hand or two <coughs> backups and a card from hand like yeah and that's actually having it not be like four blue means it could possibly be playing like a multiple guy yeah absolutely um, but yeah no, that card is very good I find it interesting two parts of it. Uh, the zero cost is obviously like crazy, it just activates for free. Yeah. Um, the fact that it doesn't take damage from light cards. Yeah, or, sorry, dark cards. Dark cards. Um, sure, my first thought is, you know, uh, Could take damage for Emperor anyway. Like combat. Um, but then it's like, huh, are we actually going to get another effect that's like some kind of burn card or like damage card in dark? Or is it just for like, it blocks out dark guys all day? Yeah, my, my guess is that it, um, like that it, we're going to get something burn. It eats Sephiroth's. Attacked all day, even though it's first yeah. track, you know what I mean? Right. Um, but I like the art, I like the art too. It's a little, yeah, the art is looks like a jawbreaker, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then they, they spoiled another card, uh, the card of the week there, Rafia, of course, which... Rafia is somewhere between good and broken, right? Oh, you were asking me all right, cards I wanted, <laughs> I was curious about. Uh, Mio, the wind 2CP backup. I haven't seen it. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, or enters the field, you can return a character you control to your hand. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it says when she enters and choose a character other than Mio that you control, you return it to your hand. If you do so, draw a card. Okay. So you can even do something like uh, that with Viking and you draw two cards. about Shanto, though? Yeah. That's good, too. You can replay Shanto, though. Yeah. Uh, that, there's so many effects like that. Like, with, like remember that Von Balthier yeah. 12 Black Mage deck? Like, you can yeah. play the Black Mage, play her, bounce the Black Mage, play the Black Mage, attack with Von, bounce the Black Mage, play. Like some of the good, some, some of the good uses you get out of her, I can see with uh, Barbarisha. Yeah. Yep. Like bouncing Barbarisha, replaying Barbarisha. Um, Zidane took another card. All sets, obviously. Yeah. Zidane's. There's a lot of sweet stuff you can do. It'd be a matter of if the, it's like not too greedy. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, Illua says uh, activate all forwards you control. They gain haste. Oh, and it activates until them? the end of turn. All the forwards your opponent control lose two thousand power. And yeah. also she has the, you know, she has haste herself, and she also, each turn, the first time she's targeted by a summoner ability, cancel it. Okay. So she is very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, um, I do, I, I want to say that I do like uh, the new Eleven character. Mm-hmm. The one that bounces, uh, or when something comes in, they can't block. block. Yep. Yeah, because every time you play the Eleven character, they can't block, and who knows how many Eleven characters we're going to get. And then the S ability is kind of insane too, right? 
Is that, it was just a shortage of blocker? Yeah, just shortage of like, blocking forward, break it, and that's just an S. There's right. no other cost to it, you just have to doll so you can do it, you can attack. Right, so it's like, it's like a lot of times it's like, he's setting up your guy, so so here's an example of of, of what the PV's rule thing is, right? So what happens is, <clears throat> you make it to where like their second weakest guy can't block. So what happens if I'm playing this guy, and I attack you, and I say that your second weakest guy can't block? Right. How often are you going to block with your strongest guy? It's, why would I choose the other guy? And are you a, like in a high level event? You can't assume that I'm, I'm a bad player. You're going to assume that I'm a decent player. And I've chosen the right target. So then, if if you do block, then you're going to get blown up by that civility, right? Yep. But there's it's, a, it's very likely that I know that you know that, and therefore we're playing this whole mind game of yep. I really don't want you to block, so I'm going to encourage you to block. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think that guy's gonna be really interesting. I don't think yeah. that people are talking about him enough. So, I, I don't know anything about Eleven either, so I have no idea what characters yeah. to expect, no like what mechanics or like because every like, we have Tella, right? Tell's a backer, he blows himself up to kill something. Yeah. It's very lore friendly. There's like the you know that moves things. That, so like there's all these little like effects that are kinda like Easter eggs almost from the game. I I will recognize none of them from Eleven. I've yeah. never seen yeah. the game played. Yeah, is Amon for 11? Amon is for 14. 14, okay. I, I get the I online, I, I get the online one confused a lot. Interesting. So, yeah, so I'm very curious to see since it's 11. I'm super excited about that. Rafia, keep your eyes on Rafia. Rafia says job category Warrior of Light. Alright, like people are just looking way past that and only seeing the water aspects. But we're gonna get at least four new Warrior Lights, right? Yeah, it's confirmed from our Is it more than four? He said there's gonna be at least one more of each of the Onion Knight. So there's going to be a Raffia, there's mm -hmm. going to be an Ingus, there's going to be an Ark, and there's going to be a uh, Luneth. Okay, so we're, we're, yeah, so we're getting a Warrior of Lights. Yeah. Um, so I think that people are, are sleeping on that a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and I'm already super excited because I already like the Opus 2 Warrior of so Lights. So you want a Finance prediction? Maybe Light Warrior of Lights to reduce the damage they take? Yeah, I mean, I've already, yeah, I mean, I've already gotten them. Um, but I mean, for investing, if you investing, want to invest in a card yeah. that might be worth more to trade for. I'm saying it, it does also matter. It does also matter uh, how well the title format does. Yeah. If the title format takes off um, more than it has, then I think like the Warrior Lights deck could be really good. Mm -hmm. I don't think that like uh, five right now is where you want to be. Um, I don't think that like the the Bart synergy is there yet, right? For the title format. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'd probably play five just because I'd be playing strongest sword. But. Okay, all right. Because there's fair. three. You also punches. get Lena, right? Too, but I get Lena. I get Knight. Yeah. Which is weird. Um, yeah. I would get the Dawn Warriors. Yeah. I get. Uh, what was it? You get Barks. Yeah. So it all kind of does come together with like the forwards. Yeah. Yeah. Package, but. Yeah. So um, I think that's it for today, right? Yeah, it was a quicker show today. We just yeah. wanted to kind of talk about events mainly. Just yeah. That's kind of the big buzz of the week. Uh, and then we'll yeah. see what happens in the store championship, how we feel about the meta and all that. Yeah, but before we sign off, I do want to talk about a little bit about uh, like supporting the, the content creators. I know we yes. kind of mention this all the time. Um, we had people come up to Angel, who just joined us, right. and talk about, oh, are you this guy in this story? That means the world to us. Um, and, if, and if you listen to this and you like this, please like our page, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, do everything you can. Uh, the one thing that we will never ask you is to support us financially yeah. because we do this out of the, just the love for the game. Right. Uh, we, we won't have any sort of way for you to ever pay us. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do want to say that like, you know, go out and, and, and support your content creators. It's a huge deal for us. Right. You know, even just messaging me and saying like, hey, I like this part or I didn't like this part yeah. or, or what do you guys think about doing this? Like that, that does mean the world to us. Um, it, it, it's so much more than you just know Right. Because we do this, and we don't know, we have no idea if people are listening or watching, yeah. um, and then like we go to these well, events, like, and they're like, hey, I recognize your voice from somewhere. Yeah, no, I was talking to somebody, and they were talking about the Crystal Tower podcast. Yeah. Uh, and they, they were like, oh yeah, and I said something about Chocobo, I was like, that's where I know your voice from. So I was like, you didn't know yeah. who I was, but you my voice. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, Zach will be on the, the Crystal Tower, right? Yes, I will be this week. Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited to hear that. Man. Yeah, it'll be sweet. Uh, uh, they've got a... Cast of people I actually don't, I'm not familiar with a lot of. 
Um, so they're okay. cool. like they, they're like some octagon. Uh, See, I got lucky. I got, I got to be with Chris. So yeah, right. it's like, I, me and Chris talk all the time, so it's like really cool. So another, I think it's one of the snowball fight, you get a winner, a okay. finalist. So it's, it's people who are successful. I just don't know if familiar. Yeah, um, I'm super excited about that. I'm and, super uh, excited. Yeah, if you don't stuff. know how to find our content, or how to find like our page to like, or anything yeah. like that, leave a comment. Because uh, we always put these in the US group and the fans yeah. group. So if you're seeing this on there, just say, hey, can we get a link to your page? Or yeah, send it right to you. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and again, we just like completely out of like the love for the game, love for yeah. you guys who want to see see the game grow. Um, so if you feel like ever like, oh, we're not gonna like these guys because they're sending for the money. We don't make any yeah. money doing yeah, this. No, no. <laughs> we'll never see a penny, and I'll, I'll right. never accept. I'll literally never accept a donation. It just won't happen. Uh, we just we just like doing this. Yeah. It's a good time. Um, we probably should have mentioned why Angel's not here. Since Probably. he just he just joined us. Yeah, right. Uh, he Last just, episode. Oh, he's yeah. an official choker bro. He's an official choker bro. Yeah. Now, now he's not here. And what really happened is he was crushed a teacup and he never recovered. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but no, really, he just he just couldn't make it tonight. Yeah. So he'll be back next week. Um, we look forward to having him back. Yeah. It's okay, the best roast was you. On me with the picture. Oh yeah, so in, in, in the in my picture. So if you think that's me about Angel, it might mess around each other a lot, but. In the picture of the, we're all hanging out or like at the end where I took a picture of yeah, like the four of us, the like this, like what's and up? Zach got his arm out like this where he's like, had nothing. And my wife was like, well, what does Zach pertain to hold on to? And my first snap response was success. <laughs> but I, 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 I kid because two top eights is insane. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you for listening to episode 10. I can't wait for you to enjoy this for episode 11. Um, I, we have some really cool stuff planned. Um, I'm Sam Riley. Zach Burrell. And we'll see you guys later.